if you guys haven't heard about it, there's some guy named Ryan Block. He had an over 30 minute conversation with Comcast customer service because he was calling to cancel his service with them. For whatever reason it was, he was calling to cancel and the person in the call center was just vehemently just almost to the point of nagging him about his decision to cancel his Comcast service. Anyway, let me just play you a little excerpt from CNN here. It's like a minute long just so, you know, you get the details of the story no one, here. Trust me, no one looks forward to a phone call with customer service dealing with long waits on hold annoying music. Well, Ryan Block, who was just trying to cancel his Comcast service, had to deal with something else, a very persistent Comcast representative. The call took so long that he recorded part of it, posted it online, and it went viral. Just a sample now. You can wait. You can help me right now. answers by doing all this. The way you can help me is by disconnecting our service. That's how you can help me. how is that helping you, though? Because that's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, so why is that what you want? Because that's what I want. Okay, so, I mean, there has to be some sort of reason behind it. That, that's what we're trying to find out. We just want to find out what it is that's causing a customer that's been with us for a long time to leave. Because that's what we want. <laughs> because that's... Comcast issued this statement in response. It says, we are very embarrassed by the way our employees spoke with Mr. Block. And Ms. Belmont and are contacting Ms. Block and Ms. Belmont and are contacting them to personally apologize. The way in which our representative communicated with them is unacceptable and not consistent with how we train our customer service <coughs> representatives. We are investigating the situation and will take quick action. All right. So it hopefully gets up to speed. Uh, well, actually, we don't need to leave the link. Anyway. Um, um, again, <laughs> this is a unique story to myself because I have gone through this process with Comcast and they took it a step further, which I'll get to in a second. I'll get to my story in a second because I just want to kind of expand upon this whole instance here and Comcast catching flack for what went down. Now, while I agree, this customer service agent, if you listen to the long version of this call, it's a long, drawn-out, just diatribe, just almost like, you know, begging the guy, begging the guy to stay with Comcast and just to figure out why. And he, he goes over, like, the, the, the guy at the customer service department just goes, like, we're the number one service and this and that and, like, going over all these things. Why would you want to leave this and blah, blah, blah. And the guy's just like, because I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Now, to be fair... The guy should have just, frankly, just, just said something, anything. I don't know. Your, your picture wasn't clear. Uh, I said the, the, the service interruption, just anything like that, just to shut the guy up. It's, it's kind of like he just wanted this phone call to persist on and on. The fact that he was recording it, I'm sure he wanted to make it look as bad for Comcast as possible. Again, I'm not here to, to stick up for Comcast or anything like that because I obviously canceled their service because I don't think it is fit for my hard-earned money to dish out to them and pay for their service. But here's the thing. These people that are in the customer service sector that have to deal with the cancellation calls, they must feel so depressed with their jobs or just whatever you want to label it as <clears throat> because you have something like Verizon Fios in this area that's stealing customers away from Comcast every day. You have to put in a cancellation call. There isn't something like you can't just go online and say, I want to unsubscribe from your service or something like that. You know, you don't write them a letter or something like that. You have to physically call them. And that service, that that sector of their of their customer service has to be just inundated with calls. And I can only imagine what it feels like. Just, just feeling like you know you're working for a company that's just that's just failing, and that your job is to try and talk these people out of their decision to leave Comcast. That it gets to the point that I guarantee you that just all just compiled, and you get a call like this. Like a guy is just getting so frustrated. Like, my God, just stay with us. We have such a great service. We have this and that, and everything that they're taught that is great about Comcast. To, to spit out to people and just convince them to stay. So I can imagine how frustrating it is for someone in that call center. I, don't, I Like I said, 
I feel bad for them. I don't feel bad for Comcast because, frankly, they deserve to be losing customers. Um, um again, <laughs> the the customer service end of things and the thing that, like, you know, this guy is, is probably going to get disciplined for this, might lose his job or whatever, for, frankly, something that was just a frustration that is a creation of Comcast. He just, he just got frustrated. He's probably on, on a long day of dealing with these calls of people, I want to cancel, I want to cancel, I hate you, fuck Comcast. He probably gets cursed out ten different times a day. And you know what? He was just frustrated with this guy. This guy's not giving him an answer of why he wants to leave his serve, leave Comcast as, as his provider. And the frustration boiled over into him making this long tangent of a call that got posted online. And frankly... I think that's a little unfair. I think it's a little unfair that this Ryan Block guy is putting this guy on the proverbial chopping block, no pun intended, for just being a pawn in the big cog of Comcast's big machine here that puts these people, these little grunts in the call service center that are probably making at best $10 an hour, that probably have some sort of incentive-based bonus if they get calls where people decide to keep their service. So, of course, they're going to try and twist someone's arm to stay on the service. So, I mean, this guy, who knows what's going to happen with this guy. I mean, he might keep his job. He might get fired or whatever. Comcast is getting smeared all over because this guy, this Ryan Block's call went viral. There's, you know, thousands upon thousands of people watching it now. But, I don't know. I, I, I saw kind of just kind of like a low blow. Now, the reason why I said, you know, this whole, uh, I've, I've experienced this on this whole end of things, I've never really, you know, gone out of the way to say what my experience was for canceling Comcast. One, because, you know, it was just done and done, but I'm bringing it up here today because it's part and parcel to the obvious subject of this video here. Now, I was very uh, up, upset with, uh, the service I was getting from Comcast. There was a number of things like where I'd be watching a, a Eagles or a Phillies game, and those of you out there who have been following my channel, you know what an avid sports fan I am, especially of the local teams here in Philadelphia. And the service would just turn off. It would just, it, it got to the point that I would literally take pictures, like just to, to show to people, I'm like, I'm watching the Phillies game, and here's what it says. It says, you know, error, whatever, your, your service will be maintained short reestablished shortly, whatever it said. And it would happen a number of times. And it wouldn't happen to channels I don't give a flying fuck about because you could literally turn the channel around and other channels would be working. I'm like, this is just unacceptable. Now, I didn't want Comcast to begin with because at the previous residence I was at, we had Verizon Fios and that shit kicked major ass. Never had a service interruption. Internet speeds were phenomenal, and that's what I wanted here, but Verizon Fios wasn't available. It then became available, and I called Comcast the day of. The day of its availability here. I called Comcast and fucking cancel my fucking service. Now, I was courteous to them. I didn't, you know, say like, oh, your fucking service sucks. This, I lost an Eagles game and some Phillies games. I was watching blah, blah, blah. It was kind of like this guy saying, like, you know, well, well, why do you want to cancel our service? Are you aware that, you know, we have, you know, such and such service, we're ranked number one in this and that? They gave me that whole spiel, and I was like, no, I was like, frankly, we can, we can make this call long or we can make this call short because, frankly, nothing you can say is going to make me want to keep Comcast as my service provider. And they added just one last thing. They said, all right, I'll tell you what, I'll give you one last offer. And if not, we'll let it go with that. And they offered, like, it was, like, HBO free for a year and, it's like, $20 off my monthly bill for the next year. And I was like, that's a great, fantastic deal, and it's a better price and value of service than I'm probably going to be getting with Fios, which is what I'm switching to. But, no. I'm going to Fios. I'm going to Verizon Fios. And that was it. Now, that's not where it ended. Comcast took it a step farther because I was a paying customer to them with good credit, never missed a bill or anything like that. Um, I guess that all factors into things. They sent someone out to my house, an actual Comcast service agent to my house, to just talk to me about it. This was like months after I'd canceled the service. 
I guess they call them buyback agents. I, I looked up, they were called something like that, buyback agents that Comcast has that come to the houses of people that have canceled Comcast service to win them, or win back agents, I, whatever it is. It's not important. Anyway, the guy, you know, came and talked to me. He said, hey, yeah, I know you, you were once a loyal supporter of Comcast. And it wasn't really loyal. It was just that it was really the only other thing between that and Dish. And frankly, I would take Comcast over Dish, but that's a whole different thing. Um, I'm again. And he, he reassured me. He was, he's like, yeah, I, I noticed that you noted that we had, um, you know, dropped some service that you were watching, like you had service interruption. And I was like, yeah, so it just goes to show you they take diligent notes on the service calls and feed them to the people that are on the ground. And I was like, I was like, yeah, I did. And and he like reassured me that there was there was upgrades in like the you know the transfer lines and the telephone poles and that the service has been upped and the data transfers and all this shit. And he went through all of this. And I was like, I was like, that's all well and good, but you know, there's still no guarantee that once I get the service reestablished here from Comcast, that I'm not going to experience the same problems. And frankly, I just flat out like Verizon FiOS's service better. I've had Comcast in numerous residences before, and I've had uh, Verizon Fios now at two residences that I've lived in, and I've yet to experience a problem with Verizon Fios. So, it was just interesting that they, they went to take that extra step. But anyway, um, getting back to this whole Ryan Block thing, it's, you know, an interesting look of this side of things and showing how diligent that Comcast is with people that call just to leave their service and this goes with just any service that has some sort of cancellation process it's it's almost like you know you gotta wonder how stressed and how just bummed out the poor little cuz again I don't feel bad for that customer service agent now did I think he went over the line and took things too far yeah I mean yeah he did but again, he's probably feeling pressure for some incentive-based bonus and dealing with cancellation after cancellation after cancellation call and probably getting cursed out all day and what not and what who and where is it and all that shit. So I, I kind of feel sympathy for the customer service people. It doesn't excuse them for the way that some of them act like in this Ryan Block call, but I, I can sympathize for how frustrating their job must truly be. Um, I've never been a call service agent for Comcast, so I can't tell you firsthand what it's like. But I, I can just imagine it's frustrating as all hell, especially for a company like Comcast that is getting customers uh, dropping out left and right uh, with competition from people like Fios picking up. Anyway, um, um, again, one more um to end the video with. Just an interesting little thing here. I wanted to share this because uh, this guy's call is going viral. and. It, I just think it would be a shame if that customer service agent lost his job in any way. I don't know. Maybe he hates his job, and it would be a blessing if they fired him. Who knows? So, have you guys, I, just as one last note, have you guys ever had to cancel your any service like this and got lip from the people trying to basically beg you or question why you're leaving their great service? Because, like I said, I went through this with Comcast, and, you know, it, the only thing I could say is 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 be sympathetic to these people in the customer service. You can hate the company for any reason, but a lot of times these grunts that are just on the line are just just working a job to pay the bills. And anytime I I, I see something like this, it's just kind of like you know, is it really necessary to make this public? Hate the company. Don't hate the pawn that's just basically put there in in front of the cannons, ready to to take on the people that want to cancel the service. Anyway, I just, I, I just sympathize for guys like that, but again, it doesn't excuse all their behaviors as customer service representatives. Anyway, have a good day every... Have a good day every day. I guess that makes sense, but have a good day everyone is what I meant to say. And fuck Comcast. That is all.